Hello everybody, so today we're going to be cleaning out my cabinets. Um, I am minimizing some of the plates and then kind of reorganizing. So I'm taking out our paper plates and bowls. We don't really use those too often other than for parties if we really need them. So I'm actually putting them on top of the cabinet where I keep some of our storage items that we don't need. Uh, now I'm going through each set of plates and deciding how many to keep. I think I kept about four of each plate and I'm just taking the other plates and I'm actually going to put those into our plastic tubs like storage because sometimes we do use them if we have other people over so I don't actually want to get rid of all the plates yet but I am just counting out mini plates here and I am going to actually move things around a little bit. You'll see I tried to put things in one place and then I decided to put them other places. So that's totally fine. Move things around, see what you think fits best. Uh, right now I'm taking some of our kind of extra cups that we don't use as much and putting those on the top because I can't usually reach those. I'm on a step stool right now. And I thought I would put all of our son's like bowls and plates up on the second uh, cabinet uh, shelf. So now I decided to take, we have quite a bit of mugs for like Jenna's coffee and things like that. So I'm going to take most of them and put them up where we don't really use them as much. Uh, Jenna wants to keep these, so cool. But I'm going to actually take a few of the mugs and I'll eventually keep a few down a little bit on a shelf lower so I can reach them. So I thought let's put all of the plates and bowls up on the second shelf because I'm actually going to take some spice racks and put them in there just to have less things on the counter. But as I put them up there, I thought that that's just not going to work out. It's going to be a little bit too tall for me. So what I decided to do is take the spice racks and put them onto the second shelf. I can usually reach at least the bottom part of the spice racks. Uh, by myself or I can just use my step stool if I need to get some of the other spices since I don't use them as much as we do plates and bowls. So again just kind of play around when you're minimizing and organizing your cabinets. So I'm taking all of the plates and bowls and putting everything on the very bottom shelf so it's easy access. Um, and I'm not minimizing the bowls and plates for my son because we actually use quite a bit of them throughout the day because I don't constantly keep up with dishes because I don't like doing them. So now we have both of our spice racks up there and that is my son playing with the camera, <laughs> sorry. And now I'm taking just a few of the mugs, just about three of them and keeping them on a lower shelf so I can actually reach them at all times and the rest will stay up top. And. Now I have a few papers, those are just labels for our spices if I need them. And also that is a jar of dried spices. So here are all of the bowls, our plates, and then my son's bowls and plates. I got all of my spices up into a shelf and some dry spice there, a few mugs, and then we just have some quinoa rice and the rest of the mugs. And so now I'm going to show you actually another drawer that I minimized and this was a really big success for me. It's really helpful. So I thought I would just include this in since the other one was pretty short. So let me know what other things you want me to minimize and organize. Hello everybody. Okay, sorry. First of all, this is a little blurry in the beginning. I don't know. My settings were off. Um, but I wanted to show you one of the first videos in my minimalism series and I thought I would start with the kitchen junk drawer. Um, yes, as you can see, there's tons of stuff in here. I never know where anything is. So what I'm doing first is I'm just taking everything out and as you'll see soon, I'm setting all of it onto the counter and then we're going to go through and see what we're going to keep, donate, throw away, or maybe belongs in another drawer. I decided to put in, I don't know what this is called, it's not contact paper, but I'll put the name of it somewhere here. I decided to put this in the drawer because I thought it would help so I could lay things out one at a time and they would not roll around in the drawer. And yes, I'm using a knife because I can't find my scissors, which is why I'm cleaning out this drawer. 
Okay, so I already put in our measuring spoons and our measuring cups. And now I'm pretty much going through and I'm sticking things in that I decide I want to keep. Like I have two whisks, don't need a second one. And then I'm just going to put the items in one at a time and kind of see where I want to put them. I'm going to move things around quite a bit um, and change my mind here and there. But you just kind of do whatever works for you. And you don't need to have fancy drawer dividers. I used a shoe box. That's what's holding these um, smaller pieces here. And then you can just use small shoe boxes. You can use, you know, cheap dividers, anything like that. I'm just literally setting out the rest of the items one by one. And that works for me. You don't need to spend a ton of money to organize your drawers because sometimes we don't have a ton of money to do that. Okay, so now I'm just going through whatever's left and throwing things away and taking those gloves and putting them down with my cleaning items. Um, and then, as you can see here, I got some corks I'm going to throw away. These go to another drawer and so on and so forth. A lot of these items, like these, um, will go in another drawer with Miko's items and we'll just keep doing that, putting them where they should go. Here is the final product. It's much more organized and I can actually find things in it. It's great. Okay, so that was cleaning and minimizing my first kitchen drawer. Um, I know it doesn't seem like much, it's a small thing, but it's an important step when you're trying to minimize. A lot of people think you have to do everything all at the same time and make a huge change, but you don't. You can just take one thing at a time. I am a mother of a toddler and I'm busy. I work, I do YouTube, I have a lot of things going on and I don't have time to do an eight hour transformation of my whole house. I just don't have that time. So I'm just taking it one thing at a time. So let me know what thing you want me to do next. Leave a comment down below. Thanks and see you in the next one. Bye.